Howdy y'all, DJTJ here with Inkscape tutorial number 20, Path Operations. Okay, so to get to your path operations, you'll go up to the drop down that says Path. And we'll look in this section right here. Now, these are some of the most powerful tools you have in a vector software, is being able to cut and combine and make intersections of different objects or shapes. It's really nice to be able to cut things out, put holes in things, as opposed to trying to create something from scratch. So, I've laid out a little obstacle course for us, and I've named all of the different operations to show you what they'll do. So I'll be going to the drop down and not using the quick commands, but the quick commands are listed right here. Um, but I want you guys to see what it is. It does have a visual representation, a little icon to the left of the name that lets you sort of see what's going to happen. So the way you do this is you need to highlight more than one object. You go to path and we'll select union first. Union has combined those two objects into a single object. Now, we'll select the next two, Path, we'll go to Difference. Notice that the top object cut a piece out of the bottom object. The, the order that you lay your objects in is important because if the, ob if the, um, if the order was flipped, it would do the opposite. Intersection. So the intersection basically leaves the overlapping part is the only part left. Exclusion. So in exclusion, the overlapping area has actually been taken out. So it's now a hole right there. Now division deleted the top object, but it made both pieces now. cut path alright so the path around the edge has been cut now we don't have that inner side the inside like division where the whole um, fill and the whole object will have a new path created this will be an empty path right here that you can fill in however you want and finally we have combine so if we go to path and combine now com the difference between union and combine is that combine is non-binding these sort of shapes are sort of grouped and you can undo that by going to path break apart now we can have this, the original objects are back you cannot undo union unless you control Z so if you've done union and you close the program open it up later and you try to control Z that it will not undo that it's a permanent deal the difference between union and also grouping, get that question all the time, is the difference between union and a group. Well, union is permanent, a group is not. And that about does it for the path operations. Please join us for our next Inkscape tutorial, Inkscape tutorial 21, metadata. Thanks for watching.